everyone. Um, welcome back to the Math Zone. Uh, it's with Mrs. Timsey. Hello, everybody. Um, so we're going to have um, a game of pairs with a pack of cards, okay? And we're going to be um, instead of collecting two sixes together, we're going to be looking at collecting um, number bond pairs. So we're going for the number six. So we've taken out the one, two, three, four, five, and six. But we don't have any zeros, so the jokers are going to re represent the zeros. Okay, and we've got six in black and six in red. So I'm going to hand over to Miss Mrs. Toomsu to tell us how to play the game. Okay. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is you have them all there, um, and the child can see that there's a zero to six or zero to five, whatever the number bonds might be up to. Then we Turn them over, shuffle them up, just turn them all over, please. Then we give them a shuffle, so we don't know where any of them are. Okay, yeah, Organise them into... Those are four, something with some extra ones. That's something right. like that, like yeah, that's that, good. just cool. to make it look pretty. <laughs> okay, so how do we play? Okay, so now, once they're all not visible, we are going to play the game of pairs, so I have to, alongside yourself, we have to pick a card and then pick another one. So for example, I might pick the number six. So because we're making number bonds to six, I already have the number six. So six add zero would make six. Oh, so you're looking for the zero, the So joker. I do need to find the joker. Now, because they've all, it's very fresh and I don't know where anything is, it's, Tricky if I will find it, but let's find out. So I'm going to take, pick this one, and it's the number two. So six and two doesn't make two, um, doesn't make six. So I have to turn them over again, and the idea is that we have to try and remember where the numbers are um, to make that number one to six. Okay, so I'll have a go. I've got um, a three, so I know that's a six and that's a two. So I need another three because three and three make six. So I'm going to try this one next to it. The Joker. That's an interesting one to know where it see. is. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what <laughs> right, the Okay. So are. I'm going to choose this one here, and it's a Joker. So. What do you need with the Joker then? I need a six because six. that's a zero, and I'm going to pick this one, which is a four. Not very good with memory, Mr. Davis. No, I, I thought you might know that, Mr. Mizzou, but let me see if I'm any better at it. <laughs> What's this one here that you said? Ah, oh, there's the six. So, six and a joker, which is six and zero, that makes six. So when I've got a pair, I get another go. So I'm going to try uh, this one here. Now, have we seen a five? I can't remember if we have or not, so I'm not sure. I'm going to have this corner one. A three. Three add one. So three and one is four. four. I can't keep those two because I'm trying to make six. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go for this one at the top. And you've got a one, a two. One. So you're looking for a... A five. A five. Even though I said I think I may have already seen one. I'm not too sure. Well, I think we have, but mm. maybe we haven't. This is interesting. I'm going to go for this one. If I can turn it over. A four. Oh. Okay, so that doesn't make six. That makes five. So four and one make five. It's not doing very well. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Oh, That's Mr. Davis. I've got to say as well that um, my memory's not great either because <laughs> I know we've seen a one and I don't think it is this one. Oh, it is. It is. Oh. Maybe it's not so bad as I thought. See, good memory. Okay, so I've got five and one, I've got six and zero, two pairs that make six. I've got another turn. Let's go for something we haven't tried. Uh, this one here. Six. We need the other joker, which we... Mm. Don't, uh, no, I don't think it is that one. I'll go over here. No, it's the Ooh, four. Good try. Six and four. That doesn't make, doesn't make no. six. Okay. I'm going to try for this one. Okay. If my memory serves me right, let's see. Ooh. So that's six, and this one here. Oh <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's let me down. 
Right, so six and three does not make six. So, Mr. Davis. I think I might just have one more go. So guess the three. Now, talking about poor memory, we've just seen it, but I think it is that one. Okay, well so. Well done. Three and three again. Make six. So we've got five and one, six and zero, and three and three. Okay, I seem to be doing quite well on this one. Let's try that one. Uh, four and one, that makes five. So it's not that one. Okay, I'm going to go for this one. I don't think we've touched this one. Five. Oh, and where is there a one? Hmm. Shall I, shall I not? No! Oh, one out. So five and two makes seven, not six. So the idea of the game is just to keep going until all the cards are taken and then that's the game. But uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, it's very visual. So even if you're not sure about whether the number one is correct or not, at least you can count uh, the pictures on each card, which makes six. So I'm sorry to leave you in a bit of a difficult situation <laughs> to visit, but that was um, the game called Pairs. So I hope you enjoy that one. And also, moral, don't be a sore loser. No, you're a perfect <laughs> old model. Um, I tried my best. Yeah, you did do so well done. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.